Howdy, my name is Leslie Wagner and I'm a second year veterinary student here at Texas A&M University. Today I'm going to show you one of your skills that you're going to need to know for your FFA Veterinary Science CDE. So what we're going to go over is viewing a parasitic slide with the proper objective for a suspected parasite. So first, with my microscope, I'm going to make sure that we have the 4x objective in the center and clicked into place. So the 4x is the smallest objective and it's usually the lowest power. Um, and once that's clicked into place, we can turn on our microscope and we'll adjust the iris diaphragm to make sure that we're getting light through. We can pick up our slide next and you want to pick it up on the edges only so as not to disturb any of the contents and then put it onto our slide stage. Most of our slide stages are going to have a metal clip, clip that'll keep your slide in place. So just make sure that it's secure and in place. And next you'll want to center your sample over your lens. So you'll check from the side and from the front to make sure it's in the center. And there's knobs here on my right that I'm moving in order to do so. So now that our slide is on the stage and centered, you need to focus it. When you're on your 4x objective, you can use this big knob called the course adjustment. And it's called course because it's very rough. It moves the slide stage up and down by a lot. So first you'll look through here and get kind of in focus. It won't focus it all the way, but it'll get close enough. And then you can use our fine adjustment knob, which is the smaller knob. And you can see it doesn't move the stage hardly at all. And so you'll use your fine adjustment until you get it just right in focus. Okay, so once we have it focused on the 4X, we can go ahead and scan for parasites. When I scan for parasites, I like to start in one corner of my cover slip and I will just move all the way up to the very top of my cover slip. and then over a little and move all the way down. So you move in a grid-like pattern, kind of like how you would mow a lawn to make sure you don't miss any spots on your slide. You wanna be able to see everything. Now, if you spot something that is a suspected parasite, you're gonna to wanna to move objectives. So right now we're on 4X, it's a very low power objective. And when we move, we'll click our 10X, which is the next objective into place. And the 10x objective is going to be a lot closer to our glass slide. So you're not going to want to use the coarse adjustment. You're just going to use the fine adjustment. And you'll just get it in focus. And you may have to adjust the amount of light that you have. Um, adjusting this iris diaphragm helps us to increase the contrast between things on the slide. So if you're looking for things like eggs, things that aren't stained, increasing the contrast can really help you find them better. So I'm going to open this iris up a little bit more, focus it with my fine adjustment. Again, using the course adjustment here could cause you to move the slide too closely objective, and that'll break the slide, and it could also break your objective, so you don't ever want to use the course knob on a higher objective than 4x. So once we're done with that, that's all you need. Have fun studying!